Okay, leather is a very common item actually in everybody's home or you see it. Some people don't like it. The way you can, if you buy an item and you want to know whether it's leather, smell it, feel it. It's alive in your hands. Anyway, leather off cuts comes from factories or people making leather items. A leather bag, a leather jacket, a leather uh, coat, um, whatever you can find gets worn. It doesn't look nice anymore. So you cut it up, you make a stash of leather, whatever color, remember the color doesn't matter there's a spray that you can spray it or a little bit of gold tinge on it or silver or even orange or red but the basic thing is leather and when you spray it it gives character right so a um, lot of things you can also do with leather apart from doing flowers i've made a fascinator here um, very simple way layers it with a bit of tulle and voila <coughs> um, then you can Jamie had a beautiful set of a program the other day with buttonholes the little inlays of the buttonhole leather um, flowers embellishments like um, uh, a brooch or something, earrings, pendants. Every garment you make, you should put a little something on that tells people you made it because you must be proud of it. So there are many expensive tools also that you can buy to shape leather with. It's not necessary unless you really go in for it professionally. You can make holes in it. You can use it as a weight. I'll show you just now. Pliers. Clothes peg. A fork. Anything. A mug. Upside down or like this. Right. But today... I'm going to show you or shaping leather. To start your project, you will obviously cut your good leather out. You clear these parts that's supposed to give a good hem or make the shape of the leather. This was a, a jacket of my daughter. You take that off. It takes off better when it's dry because it's like bubbly on top, you see. If it doesn't come off, you soak it in water and take a knife and scrape it off. <laughs> Once it's dry, you can draw your flower or whatever shape or item you want to make. This, I used a material marker. You can use a ballpoint pen. This, to me, I can wipe out a ballpoint pen is forever. Then you cut out your flower. Then you soak it, soaked in water. If you shape it with a heat, which I'll show you just now, which I've done with this one, but I wasn't happy with it. You put it back in water. You can reshape it. Leather hasn't got a memory on its own. You have to add something to give it a permanent shape. So this one you can throw back in and you can reshape it. But by giving it a permanent shape, you have to use the heat. When you do this process, make sure you are in a very well ventilated area. It smells. So I've made a few samples and I'll wet them quickly for this. You just wet them very shortly. Dry them. 
in a towel. The reason why you wet them is that they don't get scorched and also your heat gets um, distributed more evenly. You hold it over the flame and you move it around. You start with the edge and you work it in so that it does that it curls as it shows on your little picture. It just shows you it works and you can really make something nice from nothing. This takes time. So when you've finished, you'll see on the piece of paper there that I said that you can then take your leaves. You can take one by one. Take your leaves and put them together either with Gorilla Glue or E6000. A lot of people don't like glue. Unfortunately, we have to use glue. Or this thick nylon that they work with leather for any heavy duty material. Oh, when you cut these material or the leather out <coughs> don't use your material scissors you'll ne never be able to cut a piece of material again afterwards let's go on to the dry part this one as I said is soaked it's the same leather what you can do is then squash it let it dry eventually you'll be able to make something totally different mm. of a straight piece of leather so if you make a little hole in here and you put one of those little sticks in for its center you've immediately got the wire and you can twirl it around then you can also take a leaf wet it use a clothes peg shape it until it's dry Right. You can take a fork, wet it, turn it in and out in the fork. Let's do it that way. Fold it. Now, if you cut up old bags or sewn items where they've got stop stitching, if there's a hole in leather, it will stay there. Keep the stitching because if you make a leaf you keep the stitching in the middle of the leaf. Mm, Seal it on the one side with a bit of glue and you've got a perfect leaf 